Collective. Happy Sunday. How are you doing? It's fine morning, noon or night. <laughs> Aisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, for those of you that are checking me out for the first time, if this, if this reading resonates with you or if I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, this is a general energy check. It's not going to resonate with all of you. You all know the drill. Take what resonates, discard the rest. Don't try to force it to fit because it will just confuse you, okay? If it's not your reading, that's okay. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time in your timeline or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is located in the description box. Um, I just want to thank all of you for rocking with me. Like, there's no loyalty in Terrellland. <laughs> there's no loyalty um, online, period. So I appreciate that you're still here. I do completely understand that sometimes I resonate with some for a period of time. And then when it's time to go, it's time to go. So I thank all of you who are here. I thank all of you who have been here. I thank all of you that are curious of joining. I just thank you, you know, because um, it is what it is. And I appreciate it all. All righty. So let's see what's going on with you, okay? Let's see what's going on. So thank you for your clear and concise messages. I'm here and I understand them. My intention is that these readings reach they, those that they are intended for, okay? To provide them with clarity, understanding, empowerment, healing, and all good things. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's uh, see what's going on here. You have the Magician and the Mirror in reverse. You have Angel of Balance in reverse. And you have All Tied Up in reverse, okay? So on the surface, I feel like someone tried to manipulate you. Someone could have even tried to throw some um, bad juju on you to create imbalances in your life, but it did not work, okay? You are not tied up. You are not stuck. Someone could have wanted that. They could have wanted you to feel like you had no choice or no options or you had nowhere to go, okay? But we will um, we will clarify. So please clarify the magician and the mirror. Oh, okay. Please clarify the magician and the mirror in reverse. Thank you. So, collective, you let me know if this is your story or not. Okay, I'm just here to uh, to clarify, bring some clarity, confirm for me. All right, you confirm for me. There you are. Look at showing up loud and proud of the Empress. Yes. Love it. Love it. This is divine feminine energy. Mm -hmm. Somebody, <laughs> you could be isolating yourself from someone right now. Like you really just, I want to say take a break, but it's more like you've just secluded yourself. You don't want to deal with this person. This person views you as an empress. You know, you are husband, wifey, material. You got everything in order. You're stable. You're loving. You're intelligent. You're kind. You're generous. You got your shit on lock, okay? You are the whole package. They don't want you to leave. But you know what it is? It's eight of cups in reverse. So this is someone who wants you to stay out of fear. Now, this could be fear of being alone, fear of rejection, fear of you moving on, okay? I, I feel like... That's what it is because it's this person knows that the relationship wasn't good yet they still don't want you to leave mm -hmm. or they still don't want to let it go. So please clarify four of swords. Please clarify four of swords. Someone is holding on to you energetically. Yeah. Someone is not happy at the fact that you are isolating yourself. Now, Whoever I'm speaking to, you're staying away from someone because they are not enough, okay? And it's not in a, a conceited way. They're, they don't bring any satisfaction to your life. This could be someone that goes out of the way to do some real shitty things to you and you've had enough. Mm -hmm. Someone doesn't bring any type of happiness to you. Woo, right? Look at this. Got cards flying out of the deck here. I'm taking them all. Yeah. You are focusing on, I feel like you've learned. Look at this. This is wisdom. 
This is wisdom. You've learned. Um, you taking this time, I feel like maybe before when things were going left with this person, you would try to fix them. You would come back and try to mend bridges that they burned or try to come back and um, it's like stay with them and let them know that you're always going to be there. I'm hearing ride or die energy. Look at this, right? You've healed from any type of um, trauma bonding pattern that you had with someone. You've learned a very valuable lesson here. You're exercising wisdom now. Wisdom comes from experience. So you've done this with this person before. You're just tired of it. You're not doing it anymore. You are focusing now on being the best version of yourself. A lot of you, you are focusing on doing things that are good for you now because you've learned you know better so you're doing better that's good someone is also not happy at the fact that you have isolated yourself from them because they view you as someone who's very kind they also see though that you've healed and that you are making wiser choices and better decisions for yourself this some this is someone watching you seeing that you are focused on yourself and pouring into yourself now okay and it could be bothering them so please clarify the empress because you're no longer running them down, sending them text messages. Are you okay? Can we talk? Can we can we work things out? You're like, no. Focus on myself right now. Yeah? Look at this. I can't make this up. You have taken um, steps to continue to focus on being the best version of yourself. This is you putting the best foot, your best foot forward. This is you also building your confidence collective. I love this. You're very confident in yourself. You are confident enough to say, I don't need you in my life. I don't need to have you around. I don't need to interact with you. I'll, I'm better off by myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this. New beginning. Some of you may have children or a child with this person. You're like, that's okay. I have no problem being a single parent. I'm pretty good at it. I'll be pretty good at it, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're putting your best foot forward. This is you also... Someone could have been a catalyst for your spiritual journey here of letting you realize that you are a lot stronger than you thought you were mm -hmm. or helping you to realize that you're a lot stronger than you thought you were. So please clarify eight of cups in reverse. Someone is also seeing that about you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this. Uh -huh. Someone doesn't want you to leave collective. They know that they should have did right by you and they're seeing something very clearly here. They're not lying to themselves about something. Someone could have been delusional about something. Spirit, please clarify this um, five of air in reverse. Please clarify this five of air in reverse. Yeah. Someone was deluding themselves. Oh, okay. Collective, this is you. You're not letting this person manipulate you anymore. You're not lying to yourself thinking that this person one day is going to wake up and decide to do better and be better with you and start giving to you and exercising equal reciprocity and be more generous with you, right? And start moving from a space of integrity with you. You decided not to stay with someone anymore because you realize that they're just not good enough for you. And this is this is you stepping into your Empress energy. Um, you know what I'm hearing? Beyonce, don't hurt yourself. I'm just too much for you. <laughs> just like that. You realize that you're too much for somebody's ass, right? They're not ready yet. No, they're not ready for someone like you. You decided to stop smalling up yourself, <laughs> okay? And making it seem like you ain't shit waiting for someone to catch the fuck up. Good for you, baby. I like that. I like that a lot. You're not lying to yourself. You're not in no type of illusion. You realize that you need to do what's best for you. And that's exactly what the fuck you're doing. Good job. Sir, please clarify angel of balance in reverse. Yeah. Look at this. Wow. Doesn't get any more imbalanced than this. Angel of balance clarified by temperance in reverse. Someone brought a lot of instability into your life. Okay. I feel like you got fucking tired of it. Yeah, you did. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Why am I not surprised? King of Swords in reverse. You're dealing with someone who was malicious. This is narcissistic energy or someone who has narcissistic tendencies. This is a liar. This is someone who likes to play mind games with people. But this is also somebody who, two things here. One, they may not be too bright. Or some of you, you are dealing with somebody who, they were, they're intelligent, but they used their intelligence for the wrong things, right? Mm -hmm. You're dealing with someone who was very cruel. Mm-hmm. And selfish, yeah. Yes. And they did not provide. This is why you're like, this. Is, you're not enough for me. I'm not going to get what I want. You weren't getting any emotional fulfillment with somebody at all. Right? 
For some of you, you could have found that when this person was around, you drank more, you smoked more, right? You just started doing things in excess, things that weren't all that good for you, right? Yeah, someone could have had some kind of toxic influence on you. And I feel like it was just, just to stay around them, just to be in their company, just to feel like you had something in common with them. But you got tired of it. You're like, I'm better than this. I can do better than this. I definitely can do better than you. Whoever I'm speaking to, yeah. Spirit, please clarify 10 verse in reverse. I feel like you got impatient with someone. I feel like you lost your patience. And someone made you very frustrated, right? Because they created a lot of delay. Nothing was happening with them. Spirit, please clarify temperance in reverse. You realize that some... Look at this. Wow, union in reverse. Someone didn't get you, collective. They didn't understand you. They didn't understand you. They didn't overstand you. Nothing, okay? They didn't get the type of person that you were, the type of energy that you brought to the table. Mm -hmm. I feel like someone lacked uh, vision. They didn't see you, right? They didn't see who you really were. Or this person tried to... Um, they have a skewed perspective, so... They wanted you to be someone that you weren't, right? You could have tried to with this. This is why the imbalance was there. Someone created imbalance because you could have been trying to make yourself into someone that you weren't to appease somebody, right? I'm seeing someone here who's like looking at, did you have someone or were you with someone who was obsessed with Instagram models, male or female? And you felt like you needed to look like them. So you could have been buying clothes like them, looking at getting procedures done to look like them. You were like... Whoever this is, whatever the situation was, you snapped the fuck out of it. And I'm glad you did because you realize that you're perfectly fine. Like you're great by yourself, right? There's nothing wrong with you. Someone was creating some kind of imbalance within you, right? Creating some kind of chaos or conflict within yourself. It's like you're fighting with yourself to be someone that you're not. And your real self is just calmly there. Like I'm just waiting for you to just get back to the basics and realize that there ain't nothing wrong with you. Mm -hmm. it's the person that you're around or the person that you're with you need to leave them mm -hmm. spirit please clarify king of swords in reverse someone you could have had someone gaslighting the fuck out of you right mm -hmm. making you feel like uh what you believe is, is wrong or what you know is not true making you feel like that you know hmm. if you don't know what you know some of you are dealing with someone who had the gift of gab okay they could finesse <laughs> They were finessedem.com. Yes. Yeah, they really were. But this was someone that would use their gift of gab to manipulate people. Yes. Okay. With this uh, magician and the mirror in the verse. Absolutely. This is someone that had you thinking that you weren't enough, that something was wrong with you, that you needed to look this way, or you needed to be this way, or you didn't have this, and you didn't have it. So someone like, no, 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 no. They had to go. Swear, please clarify, King of Swords in reverse. And this is just somebody who, they don't know what's going on with them, right? So they project it onto you. Yeah, look at this. This is someone who didn't want to see you have a new start in life. Absolutely. They wanted you to feel stuck. Stuck with them. Stuck in life. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify nine of cups. Look at this. Wow. Well, this is exactly what's happening to them. Mm-hmm. Someone wanted you to feel like you did not have, there was no way you were going to be able to have a new beginning, okay? Yeah. Someone wanted you to feel so sad that you didn't work on yourself or be so emotionally unstable that you weren't focusing on creating or manifesting a solid foundation. This is also someone wanting you to be in your feelings so much and so unstable within yourself that you did not work on things that you loved or loving yourself. Yeah, someone wanted to have you all the way fucked up, collective, but it didn't work. No, it didn't. Look at this. With all tied up in reverse, that shit did not work. Swear, please clarify all tied up in reverse. Someone wanted you to feel like you are an oddball or you are a weirdo. I'm hearing oddity, right? Like you, there's nobody else like you, which yes, you're one of one, but you do have similar energies that are like you and that would love to play with you. Okay. In a good way. They wanted you to feel like you had, nobody was going to want you. You should be grateful that they, they are looking at you in any way, or they're like the gift. Like someone was acting like they were God's gift mm -hmm, to you and you should be grateful for them. Hmm. 
And don't even think about moving on because nobody's going to want to start anything new with you. For some of you, if you have a child or children with this person, that was their go-to. Oh, you have kids. Nobody's going to want you because you have kids. Collective, don't let me start with you, okay? That is not true. I left my first children's father. I had two kids with him. He tried to say that stupid mess to me and that backfired on his ass because I met someone else and had a child with them too, okay? Did not work. And this is after somebody, he left and had a whole family with someone else tried to tell me that no one was going to want me because I had two kids. Get the fuck out of my face, okay? That did not work. That's not true, okay? Do not believe mess like that. And anybody that says stuff like you, you know something's wrong with them. You know that they scared of you meeting somebody else. That's why they say stuff like that, okay? Don't fall for the okie doke. It's a bunch of bullshit. Spirit, please clarify. All tied up in reverse. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Justice, right? Spirit said, no, that's not true. <laughs> Somebody is getting their just desserts here and justice is being served. Something is being, look at this. You see how scales were imbalanced here? Spirit is balancing that bitch out real quick for somebody. Someone's getting a rude awakening here. Uh-huh. They thought that they were going to be able to prevent you from moving forward and having on brand new beginnings in your life, meeting people that are like you, building a solid foundation for yourself. Someone wanted you to feel stuck, tied up, like you had no options, okay? You had no choice but to be with them and put up with their fuckery. No, they were wrong. Mm -hmm. Justice is being served here. Spirit said, no. Nope. They wrong, collective. Yeah. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Toxic. And I felt it. Right? Mm -hmm. Someone is obsessed with you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. Because you escaped. Yes, you did. You escaped from their clutches. And now they're obsessed with you. Spirit, please clarify justice. It's like they're trying to come get you back. Right? <laughs> wow, collective. Hmm. And why am I not surprised about this, okay? Because it's only someone in this energy that would try to break someone's spirit. Because they're afraid of you leaving. Spirit, please clarify justice. Yes, yes, yes. Wow, look at this. Look at this. And this was your justice, collective. By exercising head over heart decisions and seeing something for what it was, okay plain as day okay that you do not have to be with anyone you do not belong to anybody you're not anyone's property okay you are a whole human being here okay whoever i'm speaking to your divine feminine so i don't know where the fuck they were going with that okay you're the boss here mm -hmm. you saw that and that's what brought justice to you it's like you snapped out of whatever kind of magic spell they had you under right you snapped out of it Right, and I feel like this is with words because someone was talking the most shit to you to gaslight you and make you feel like you could never be all that you could be. But you're showing them that they were wrong and they see it. They see it. They super salty right now too. Spirit, please clarify the devil. Yeah? Hmm. Some of you could have been dealing with um, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yes. Mm-hmm. Some, be aware because some of you this person's obsessed with making sure that you are not in a relationship with anybody else they will try to sabotage whatever you have going on keep your business to yourself okay keep your private life private don't go be posting up all of your stuff you meet someone oh look at me and my new bae on, on social media don't do that keep your private life private until you know something's been solidified okay don't go posting up your shit or keep your shit private. It's only certain people that have access to your social media because somebody is, huh? Someone is determined here and they're obsessed with making sure that you are not in a relationship and you're not in a happy relationship with anybody else. Mm -hmm. Because as far as they're concerned, you belong to them. Collective, whoever I'm speaking to, they don't view you as a person. They view you as property. Yeah. You're their possession. How fucking dare you feel like you can escape? You belong to them. Spirit, please clarify two of cups. Who is this? Hmm. Yeah, look at this. Yeah. I love this though, right? This was someone you did have a soul tie with. There was a strong soul connection here. And they were a soulmate for you, but they were a karmic, right? Because look at this. They taught you your lesson. You're the prize. 
Thank them and keep it moving. That's what you do. Okay? That's what you do in these situations. Thank you so much for treating me so shitty that I'll never let another motherfucker ever treat me like that again. Bye bye Right? Mm -hmm. Someone helped you to put the good in goodbye. Yes, they did. Thank them. And keep it moving. Because look at this now. This is my bad bitch card. <laughs> okay? You a baddie now. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Right? And you don't have any love for this person. Ain't no love lost here. Okay? Ain't no love lost. It's like the more you don't want this person is the more they want you. And they're going to try. This is someone who's going to try to come back around to tie you up and get you back into their clutches. Right? Collective, I know you're not going to do it. But for those of you, if you have some kind of moment, moment of weakness here with the devil, okay, some kind of temptation with this person, let me just tell you, if you get back with this person, they will do everything in their power to make sure you never leave again. And if that means break you down to nothing, Okay, I'm here and build a bitch, right? So break you down and put you back together exactly the way they want you. They will do that. And if they have to resort to doing, going to a practitioner to do black magic to do that, they will, right? Now, if you go back to this person after spirit went out of their way to help you escape, build yourself back up. Remember what you are and who you are. So you're walking in your power and recognizing that you're here to be all that you can be. And you're under this beautiful spiritual protection. If you come out of that protective umbrella and go back and be with this devil here, this demon here, hmm, that's not a good idea, baby. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Don't do that. Sir, can I get any more messages? What's the outcome of this? Actually, I just want to see one more first. Spirit, what's justice? Can I get one more on justice, please? Can I get one more on justice? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. This is you recognizing that you don't belong to this person, okay? You're not their property. This is you starting to feel better within yourself, better about who you are, better about what you are, better about what you bring to the table for yourself and what you are creating in your life. That is justice. Someone tried to break you down and make you feel like you're nothing. And all they did was help you to remember that you are the prize. You are everything. You're the whole package. Thank them and keep it moving. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Now this person's fucking super obsessed with you. Yeah. They don't want to see you with nobody. Spirit, can I um can I get one on this song? The devil. King of fire and two of fire in the verse. Yeah, they're coming to tell you something. Yeah, because they just don't want things to change. They don't want you to be out there free and sexy and single and looking yummy <laughs> for people to come over to you. Are you kidding me, the Empress? You are not. You don't have a shortage on suitors. No, everybody wants your ass. Okay. This person's going crazy thinking about who's talking to you, who's sliding in your DMs, right? Who you're dealing with, what you're doing with them, driving themselves mad. I feel like this person was already crazy with the King of Swords in reverse. They are already kind of local, right? It's just worse now. But that's on them, okay? Mm -hmm. This is someone who wants to bring you, drag you back to hell with them. Yeah, not going to happen. Look at this. You got Six of Wands in reverse. Spirit, can I get some more? Can I get some more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. This person feels guilty about what they did because you moved on. This is someone who's only upset. Um, either they got caught doing something or they're upset because you really done with them, right? There's no going back. After what they did. Ten of swords, this person betrayed you a lot. Now, there could have been the camel that broke, the, the straw that broke the camel's back here, or they did something for the last time, but someone has been, dis, I'm hearing, dishonored. Someone has been demoted. Someone been, has been dethroned. You no longer have this person on the pedestal that you used to have them in. Have them on. You no longer look at this person with all the respect that you used to have for them. You actually have no respect for this person now. You do not view them the same. You do not feel the same way about them. Yeah. 
You're you have bigger fish to fry or steam collective. That's what you're on. Good for you. And this person, they feel real shady about that. This is also someone they could have had some kind of high honor, but I they lost it. People are looking at this person like, what are you on? I just want to see what this is. Spirit, please clarify six of wands. They feel like a failure. They feel like they lost in life. Yes. And it's a burden. You actually drop this person because you know that ain't nothing happening with them. Okay. You, you weren't going to have any success with this person. Okay. You knew that this person brought a lot of obstacles in your life and it was just, it's too much work and not enough to work with. Right. It's like, what's the point? Yeah. This is someone who you are no longer confused about. Their gaslighting does not work on you. No. Whatever juju, whatever they were, whatever words they were saying to you to have you caught up in your feelings or in your stuck in your head, confused, that doesn't work on you no more. Mm -mm. It wore off. You are not confused, and you know that this person is not an option for you. You do not see any type of success with them whatsoever. Whoever I'm speaking to, you have zero respect for this person. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify three of wands. You moved on, you moved away. Yeah. This person is upset. They feel like people are telling you to stay away from them. Mm -hmm. They feel like you're seeing someone else and it's driving them crazy. Someone is trying to like either spy on your social media. Uh, fake, they're setting up fake profiles on every platform they can find. Okay. If you have a YouTube channel, they're watching you. Okay. Now. You know what I say? More power to them because you're getting paid by them watching you. Okay? So more power to them, right? Hmm. Get your views in. Ain't nothing wrong. Who cares? They can't do nothing to you anyway. Some of your spirits said to go get an evil eye talisman though. Okay? Go get an evil eye. Because some of these people, they're shooting <laughs> psychic attacks at you like ain't nobody's business because they super salty right now. Yeah. In their feelings, upset. Someone is just, um, they go on your videos or on your page just to watch or read the comments. They just want to see what people are saying to you, seeing who's reaching out to you. They want to know. This is someone who's really trying to see if you're talking to someone else or if you've started something, you're in a romantic situation with somebody else. Hmm. Spirit, please clarify 10 of swords in reverse. They feel guilty. Yes. Like, I can't make this up. This is someone who's an emotional wreck right now. They're a train wreck. Yes, they are. They're emotionally unstable and they lack emotional intelligence. Yeah, because they've been judged. Told you, justice has been served here. This is also someone who's hoping that you'll forgive them or they want some type of forgiveness for what they did to you. Yeah, look at this. King of Pentacles. Can't make this up. King of Swords and King of Pentacles in reverse? No. <laughs> Collective. That's not a good combination. You don't want to. This is somebody who looks at you like you're not even a person. You're property, okay? And you belong to them. They can't believe they let you escape from their clutches and you're doing great. Mm -hmm. This is someone who could be going through money problems right now, though, okay? They could have lost a lot or they're losing a lot. They may not feel like they have anything to offer you, but they don't have anything to offer you. Spirit, please clarify King of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who may feel sorry now. Because of how they treated you, right? Yes, wow. This person lacks energy. They feel drained. Ah, look at that. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is wild right now. Ah, collective, you have judged this person. You know that this person is materialistic, superficial. They don't have shit to offer you. You have no energy for this person. Mm -hmm. You view them as someone who is draining and you will never give them the opportunity to do that to you again. You are doing what is absolutely best for you. Okay. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're also on your path. It's about damn time, baby. Good for you. Okay. This is what you're supposed to be doing. Spirit said, okay, this is what you're meant to be doing. This is where you're, the, the seat you're supposed to be on. You're supposed to be on your throne. You are now. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Good for you. Because whoever you were dealing with, they didn't want to see you in this power. No. They didn't want to see you having confidence in yourself and knowing your worth and having respect for yourself. And someone damn sure didn't want to see you walking and having love, self-love. No way. 
Hmm. They feel bad now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I love how you've healed from all the things that happened to you. Whoever I'm speaking to, you do not look the way... Um, so the things that happened to you, you don't look like you've had a hard life or, you know, you don't look like what you've been through. Good for you. I love how you take care of yourself as well. Mind, body, and soul. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm -hmm. You look good, by the way. Yeah. And like I said, you do not have a shortage of suitors. That's why this person's stressed right now. <laughs> Pull it out of the hair. Hair's falling out. Right? Stressed. Because they know. They know what they had. They know what they lost. Mm -hmm. And they also know that you know that you're the prize now. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Collective, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.